Well, that's broken. Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike. We've got a floppy pedal on the Hobie Mirage Drive. Let's fix it. This is my 2019 Hobie Arc 180 Mirage Drive. Um, and this video and repair will also apply to Hobie Mirage Drives uh, between 2019 up to 2022. Um, the reason why we're fixing this is these pedals give you grip. And when this thing is floppy, you either have to manually put your foot up and flip this thing over and pedal, or if you don't do that, this will just slide right off and you'll lose your cadence and your speed. All right, so here's everything you're gonna need to do this job. You're gonna need a heat gun, a putty knife, or just a, screw, a flathead screwdriver will work. A screwdriver to get the screws out, needle nose pliers, scissors, a lighter, and then your actual shock cord. This is also known as elastic cord. Uh, essentially, it's a stretchy kind, but the size you want is one eighth of an inch. All right, now we're going to heat up the foam pad of the pedal with the heat gun and try to um, unleash that sticky residue that's holding this pad to the actual pedal. And then we'll just pry it off. And then you want to run this across a couple of times, make it even, and try not to burn the foam pad. Okay, now we're going to pry off the foam pad using the putty knife to kind of just get it in there, peel it back. You want to do it while it's still hot, and it should come back. Maybe I'll use my finger now. Yeah, having that heat gun really helps. Okay, here's the four screws that we gotta undo. Take off this plate, and that's what we'll just reuse. Make sure this doesn't get dirty. There's still sticky residue on here. Now we just pry this thing off. And the way this works is, it's very simple. There's one shock cord, bungee, whatever you wanna call it, tied here, here, and then it actually runs through this channel here. And as you can see, our bungee has snapped here and here. It's supposed to be connected and run through here. Uh, so we'll just replace that. Okay, so here's the bungee inside the pedal taken out. This is where it snapped. Um, length itself is probably about four inches. So you're gonna have to cut yours to size. And don't forget to accommodate for these little knots that holds the shock cord in place. So this is just a simple overhand knot. That's what Hobie did, that's what I'm gonna do too. Okay, now we just cut off the excess. A little too long anyways. So the bungee cables don't come undone. Smash that down. Now let's estimate the rest. So I'm gonna go with this much more. All right, now we're gonna put the cord back into the pedal drive so that we can get the correct length. So slide that into this little hole. And then as you tilt the pedal drive back, you can access it on the other end. You can use noodle nose pliers, grab it, run it through. Okay, put the knot into this little doorway, this little channel right here and then tight pull on it and then pull that around all right so with this cord under tension we know that knot wants to be somewhere around here so you can either mark it with a sharpie like a silver sharpie or just hold your finger on it and then tie the knot right here
hold that knot tight. Now what we're gonna do is do the same thing. Put it around that bend, pull on it, put it in the channel, and there you go. Might take you a couple tries, but you'll get it. So when we put the um, faceplate back on, that'll actually prevent these knots from falling out of these channels. And we'll just cut off the excess, burn the tip, squish it, should be good. So here's the pedal pad. It's been sitting out for a while, so I'm going to reheat this thing lightly to get the adhesive activated. I'm trying not to overdo it. I can feel how heat the heat gun is on my hand, so I know I'm not burning it. But yeah, it should be activated with some heat, and we'll just stick it back on. If you feel the need to, you can put on some type of adhesive. Just make sure it works with the adhesive that's already there. Okay, here we go. Make sure it's lined up right. Make sure it's not sitting outside of this edge. Just give it some good pressing. Alright, here's the final product. No more floppy pedals. One thing I will say that I noticed doing this project is, so this is the left one, right? This is the one that was just fine from Hobie Factory. This is the one we repaired. I will say that for me, maybe I heated up too long, but this foam pad has shrunk by like something small, maybe like 5% or less. If you look really closely, you'll notice it. See, that little gap was not there in the, in the first place. Not that big a deal, it doesn't bother me if water sits back here. And if anything, I, I'm probably going to silicone that in anyways. It's so small. Same thing with there as well. But the pad sticks on well, especially since we activated a little bit, the, that adhesive. But yeah, there we go. Finished. I'm happy with it.